There's a considerable amount of riprap in both harbors. And this really is the rocky habitat along our piers and wharves. And this provides a, a really special and unique opportunity for various species to thrive. There's over 50 miles of riprap in the port itself, so it's a pretty extensive habitat as well. It's intended to help protect the shoreline from erosion from wind and waves. But all those rocks stacked up actually create a really complex habitat with lots of space in between the rocks. It also provides a lot of area for animals like lobsters and Garibaldi living in the caves. The overhangs are great for animals like abalone. And that's also uh, important habitat for birds and mammals to see a lot of seals and sea lions. And you'll see a lot of birds hanging out, eating around those areas. In the inner harbor, it's actually a little bit of a calmer environment. So you see that as the seafloor gets stirred up by boat activity or wind and waves, some of that sand and sediment kind of settles onto the rocks. It's actually one of the things we've seen change most in the last couple of years is that as water clarity and quality has improved in the inner harbor, we're seeing more eelgrass uh, grow on those riprap slopes where we have sediment on it. One of the most exciting things we see is the growth of giant kelp and it provides nursery habitat for a variety of species, so everything can thrive and grow within our harbor.